It was her innate ability to get to the heart of a question. Your Highness, I must ask you the question that most Americans want to know about you. Are you happy? And her competitive grit to get the interview that made Barbara Walters a pioneer, oftentimes asking the questions many wouldn't dare. You showed the President of the United States your thong <sighs> underwear. Where did you get the nerve? Barbara is with me. For more than five decades, she was a force on television, grilling everyone from U.S. presidents. Are you sorry you didn't burn the tapes? Yes, I think so. To movie stars. <laughs> an interview in which you said, uh, not the worst thing to slap a woman now and then. As I remember, you said you don't do it with a clenched fist. It's better to do it with an open hand. Mm. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I love that. And everybody in between. I'm just a normal kid. Oh, Eric, you're a normal kid who killed your parents. Walters didn't just break barriers, she demolished them. I'm Barbara Walters of the NBC News Center here in New York. In 1974, she became the first female co-host of Today. Two years later, ABC made her the first woman to anchor an evening news broadcast. In those days, nobody thought it was possible. A celebrated milestone, though not by her male co-anchor. Harry Reasoner did not want a partner. If he was going to have a partner, he certainly didn't want me. He didn't want someone without that, quote, hard news background, and he certainly didn't want a woman. But I've kept time on your stories and mine tonight. You owe me four minutes. <laughs> Still, she continued to rise and shine, scoring interview after interview through her primetime specials and as host of 2020. Always wanted to do a show with uh, different generations of women with different backgrounds. In 1997, Walters created The View. Do you really think that being on the show with a bunch of women, five women, who never <laughs> shut up is going to be calming? That is the... Uh, look, I was trying to find a show that Michelle actually watched. <laughs> But perhaps her greatest legacy, forging a path for so many female journalists to follow. We all proudly stand on your shoulders, Barbara Walters. That's why on her final appearance on The View... Voted copy, Jay Foley, Gail King. One by one, they came to say thank you. Those tributes continue today. President Biden praising her as an example of bravery and truth, breaking barriers while driving our nation forward. Oprah wrote, I did my very first television audition with her in mind the whole time. From Savannah Guthrie, thank you, Barbara. You showed the way. And from Andrea Mitchell, she became a mentor and a friend to me and so many others fortunate enough to know her. I didn't start out to do it to prove anything. I wasn't doing it because I wanted to be the biggest or the best. But for the many who watched, that's exactly what she was. This is my legacy. These are my legacy. And I thank you all. And Barbara Walters, we thank you for your trailblazing spirit and your unquenchable curiosity that informed a nation. Blaine Alexander, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.